Our senior West Coast correspondent, John Ehrlichman, takes a look. A breathtaking backdrop, perfectly groomed golf courses, and a boatload of tech and media moguls. Allen & Company's annual conference in Sun Valley, Idaho, may be the perfect place for billionaires to do business. And this year, much of the deal buzz surrounds online video service Hulu. At Sun Valley, Hulu's going to be a pretty big deal. It's going to be the thing everyone's going to be talking about. In the driver's seat, Rupert Murdoch of News Corp and Disney's Bob Iger, two Sun Valley regulars. Their companies are Hulu's controlling shareholders. Each owns a third of the business. Meanwhile, interested bidders include DirecTV. CEO Mike White is often spotted at Sun Valley. Of course, this is not the first time Hulu's been a hot topic at this gathering. Hulu was up for grabs two years ago before its owners decided not to sell. It's going to come down to what uh, Rupert Murdoch um, and uh, Bob Iger think is the best direction for Hulu. And if they can't get a deal done, at least the moguls can work on their golf games. And we take you to Sun Valley now for John. John, you have some more details about potential Hulu bidders, especially now that some of the owners are going to be there behind you. Yeah, the auction uh, basically has come down to DirecTV, which has a bid in the neighborhood of a billion dollars for Hulu. Uh, AT&T te uh, teamed up with Peter Chernin, a well-known Hollywood executive, with a similar bid. And then Time Warner Cable isn't looking to buy the whole business. It is looking to become a strategic investor. It's as if all these players want to hedge the future of television. Well, that's certainly what it's about, John. I also want to ask you about Apple because you sent us a note saying Eddie Q is here from Apple. This is a big surprise. It's not a man we hear about very often. Why has it piqued your interest? He is the deals guy for Apple, and it's you know an interesting day for him to be here, considering a big loss for Apple uh, in its ebook uh, price fixing trial. Uh, he was somebody who took the stand during that trial because he was the key negotiator with the publishers. He's also the negotiator with the music labels and perhaps more importantly at Sun Valley, the guy who deals with the TV executives. So maybe there's more to come on Apple TV. Who knows? But they wouldn't comment on that, of course. <laughs> no comment on that. Just excited about the big week ahead, as and, they all say. And to that point, you also spoke with the head of ESPN about recently bringing one of its important apps to Apple TV. Yeah, I mean, and, and in our conversation with the head of ESPN, John Skipper, he said, look, Eddie Q is the point guy, was the point guy on that deal of bringing Watch ESPN to the Apple TV box that exists today. So I think that's a reminder of the reason why a guy like Eddie Q would be here. It's also a reality for players like ESPN, which is about to get into a big battle with Fox, Fox about to launch its Fox Sports 1 sports channel, to find new ways to get their content in front of people. And I think the, the winning strategy right now is cable's still around, pay TV is still there, and this process of authentication, basically getting all these other services, uh, boxes, if you will, Roku and Apple TV and the Xbox, being able to watch the content on those devices if you're a cable subscriber. No doubt lots of conversations on that front. Well, we're looking forward to your coverage all day. We've seen the deals happen there before. John Ehrlichman, our senior West Coast correspondent in Sun Valley, Idaho. And, of course, a lot more from him, including on Bloomberg West, 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. Eastern Time.